Um, Taoiseach, um, I think it's fair to say that uh, no issue is capturing the mood or the attention of our people, and especially our young people, more than the issue of mental health and suicide. It is causing enormous grief and devastation, fear, anxiety and, and, and worry. In Cork, in, over the last two weeks, it's believed that up to 16 people um, have died by suicide. Um, a multi-agency response has been organised and a task force uh, is to meet next month uh, to respond to the situation. The rate of suicides in the city and county of Cork is almost twice the national average. And, in, and nationally, Ireland is, is, I think, about the fourth highest in terms of the level of suicides among 15 to 19-year-old males um, and, and females. Mental health campaigner Conor Cusack has called for the establishment of 24-7 emotional and wellbeing centres in response to the carnage caused by this particular crisis. I think he has correctly made the point that it's not just a government issue or a health service issue, but a whole of society issue. And he says we all share a responsibility to make a change. And it's in that spirit that I raised the issue this morning, teacher, that I think in this House we have a responsibility too. And I think we should put party political differences to one side and think outside the box to see if we can not just send the right signals in relation to this issue, but respond effectively and with some degree of substance. I think last week Deputy James Brown tabled a private member's motion, and it was interesting listening to all of the contributions. There was a common consensus in terms of what was needed. And I think initially, Taoiseach, people thought that €35 million Euros was to be allocated additionally to the mental health budget. And it turned out that was €15 million, And the argument is that the 15 would become 35 in a full year in 2018 and 2019. But the, the wrong signal was sent by that message in itself, I would put it to you. And I think collectively we should resolve to try and find the other €20 million, um, and spend that additional €20 million, uh, on issues. And I don't believe the health service can only absorb €15 million extra, or the mental health service can. There's issues about posts and the filling of posts. But if that is the case, uh, we can resource the non-governmental organisations more, the Pieta Houses and the Awares and other organisations that are providing vital counselling services. Uh, we could, the, the primary care counselling service could be expanded, for example. Income threshold could be raised. It's only applicable to medical card holders, not available to children or teens to the degree that it should. The Jigsaw programme um, could, could be expanded. You have to bear in mind that staffing levels uh, in child and adolescent services is 48 per cent below recommended levels and so on. So essentially what I'm saying to you, Taoiseach, is that I think we should all stand back. This is an enormous issue out there in the community, and I'm questioning whether we're sending the right signals to the public out there. And I think with a bit of a will, we could go do more. We need a national dialogue, but in the interim, we should find the additional resources for the community-based interventions and the non-governmental organisations to give them the help and resources they need in the interim to deal with what is an, an enormous crisis in our country. Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. First of all, I want to say that uh, this is a, a tragic phenomenon um, that, has, that has affected so many, so many areas around the country, not just with young people but with uh, an older age group as well. Um, how to disagree with anybody who says we need to do more in terms of a national conversation and uh, how we, how we uh, try to, to deal with the many problems that people have. I would say from talking to, um, to um, those involved at the third level, many of the services that they offer are unable to cope with the fragility of so many young people. So what we all say as public representatives that um, our young people display a confidence uh, that is remarkable, yet they are very fragile and talk about mental health issues in a way that generations before never spoke of. Now, I think it's important to say that um, we, the, the appointment of, of a, a minister dealing specifically with mental health opens the opportunity here to have these discussions the National Suicide Prevention Office 
has had its budget doubled since 2011. In fact, for 2017, the total allocation for mental health will be 851.3 million. That won't bring anybody back, but it's an increase of 140 uh, from what was there before. Now, you quite rightly speak of your own area, which you know, which you know better than most. And uh, I, I think I should offer my uh, sympathies and condolences to families that are affected by, by, uh, by this spate of suicides. Uh, there had been concerns raised to Cancola about a number of deaths in the Tohar Balifihan area on the south side of Cork City, and these were raised by HSE staff and communities in the last number of weeks. So there's been the coordinated approach uh, that Deputy Martin spoke about led by the HSE Head of Mental Health Services for Cork and Kerry, involving um, HSE suicide prevention officers, community workers, HSE psychologists, linking with the voluntary partners, and that's initiated. And the community meeting did take place on the 14th of November. And that group in Cancola are working very closely with the two schools that are affected here, and close friends and relatives and school and work colleagues of the deceased have been identified and have been offered support and counselling. Two individuals have been identified as requiring immediate support. Their families have been contacted by the um, Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services. The uh, HSE uh, Suicide Prevention Officer has made direct contact with the staff in both schools, established links between the schools with the community-based services, such as Pieta House and the National Education Psychological Service. The schools have offered uh, immediate one-on-one -on -one sessions with any vulnerable <laughs> student. And the suicide crisis assessment nurse in the area has been briefed by the local suicide prevention officer, which means that local GPs will also have that relevant information. Um, a new jigsaw hub is to be opened, obviously, in Cork, and the National Task Force on Youth Mental Health has been established. And one of the main aims of that is to increase awareness of not only the issue of mental health, but also of the assistance that's available for young people throughout the country. There's some other information about Cork, which I might give in supplementary uh, Deputy Martin. Uh, thank you, Tisha, for your response. And, um, and I appreciate the figures will, you know, will vary and we can issue. We can all do statistics. Uh, and there was an issue there, and for example, in child and adolescent mental health services, you know, in the community side, there are 51 per cent of community mental health staff in that area are, are, only are in post. So there, there are huge shortages. But the point I'm making is said that we can't get the posts filled or the service can't get the posts filled. But there is a lot that can be done in 2017, is what I'm saying, Taoiseach. Um, and I think, uh, you know, we should move in this House to identify those kind of priorities. Counselling is one. There is a lack of counselling. You know, we could move with the ex quota guidance counsellors faster, for example. There's a start this year. It's just one. There's the, community, there's the uh, primary care counselling service is another, where you could change that to give more access to people on low incomes, but who might be above the medical card threshold. I use these as illustrations, Tisha. You could support the non-governmental organisations more, who also are intervening with young people. Um, and we could do that in 2017. And where there's a will, there's a way, and I think everybody in the Oireachtas would support this. Thank you, Deputy. And it doesn't have to go to votes or you know, motions, because we can all do that. But I think it needs a bit of action. And I think people out there, and particularly young people, who very often can be disconnected with politics and with the political system, they need very positive, real signals from us that we can make a difference and that we can intervene with effect and purpose and substance. And that's what I'm putting it today, as you might reflect on it. I'd like to discuss it again with you and to follow through with other leaders to see what, in the short term, we could do in 2017 to start really make, showing people that mental health is the priority uh, above and beyond uh, other issues, and it's not waiting its place in the queue. Because there's real fear and anxiety out there. You've mentioned Belfian and areas like that, but it's across the country as well. It's, it's a national issue, uh, and the fear and anxiety is something we must respond to uh, as the political leaders um, in the country, and I thank you for your response. Thank you, David Taoiseach. Yeah, um, uh, it's accepted that uh, there is an anxiety and a concern about mental health across the country, and that's been expressed by, uh, by Minister McEntee on many occasions. But it's also a fact that, as I said, for 2017, the, 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 the amount um, being allocated to the general men mental health area is 140 million more than last year at 851.3 million. Now, you're quite right. That in itself doesn't deal with the matter. But what does deal with it is the, um, 
is the extent of assistance and help that is there uh, and that we should concentrate on. And that's why the community meeting that I referred to took place on the 14th of November. Um, it was agreed at that meeting that safe talk workshops will take place in the area to explain to young people about their value and their worth as persons and as people and of the assistance that is there for them. If any, if any person has a little problem or needs to talk to somebody, that they don't need to be afraid to do that. And young people themselves talk about this on a very regular basis. The, the work department of the HSE and the community and, and are, are, um, are completing the local needs analysis. I think it's appropriate that we should say that the, uh, the task force on mental health set up by the, by the Minister is really working through the communities to explain to young people that if they have an issue, they have a concern, that they have an anxiety, that there's a lot of help available um, and that's being channeled through the allocation for 2017. So I think it's a case of um, having a resource that we didn't have there before, maybe not enough, but a lot of help available for a lot of communities and while it won't bring anybody back it may well prevent somebody from taking that ultimate, ultimate tragic, uh, tragic step.